Oh goodness, I am late. Okay, let's get out the door. So today, guys, we have some stuff to pick up at the um, dealership. Not this dealership, the actual dealership. So let's get the GMC and let's get going. Nova Jr. is still in Iowa with his dad. I think they're having like family reunion or something down there. I don't really care because I don't need him for many projects until we go to SEMA. The only thing I really need him for lately is SEMA. And SEMA's in like a month, so if he's not able to come before SEMA, then that's fine. But if he can't come on SEMA, then that's an issue. So let's take the trailer. We have no small trailers, but I think there's like three of them there. So, yeah. There's, there's three razors that we need to go pick up. Oh, what is that? Um, that looks to me like Karen's Squatty Potty. I don't know if I'm allowed to go around or what. <laughs> Sir, you can go around. All right, I don't have to go around. I, I'm, I don't know what's happening here. They got the SWAT involved. Hey, that looks like my cousin's Hellcat. It's either my cousin or it's somebody else. But I guess they caught Karen. But it happened to be in the form of a car crash. But other than picking up some new equipment for the power sports shop today, we are going to be getting another truck to build. In yesterday's in last video, we had built two items. Oh, there's four. We had built two items in one video, which I don't think any YouTuber has really ever done, personally. I don't remember anybody doing it before. So we did that, and yeah. But we are going to get these loaded up. These bad boys got some kick. And when I say kick, oh, I mean kick. Okay, perfect, we got one on there. This one matches with the trailer. We didn't get a black one because they didn't have any in stock, but we bought them out. These are all the razors that they had. They had some Can-Ams, but I had a feeling I wouldn't have any room for those on here. So I would have to get, like, Chris or somebody to come back here. I did order them, though. They're coming in a bit. In a few weeks. So, yeah. I still have to come up with a plan for SEMA. Because, yeah, we don't really have a plan for SEMA just yet. I think we can barely fit everything but, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can just barely fit everything. Okay, everything's on, and we can head on back. And then I'll get this stuff unloaded into the Power Sports dealership. And then, yeah. Nobody's really buying Power Sports items lately. It's mainly because we have Can-Ams, two quads, and two three-wheelers. I'm thinking of making those three-wheelers a bit different and a bit more customized in the future but that's in the future obviously so uh, yeah um we gotta go around these guys again so let's slow down here all right okay i hope i didn't hit them i don't think i did oh i gotta turn i always miss that turn it always comes up so abruptly but, uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to miss the big dealership out here, so. Yeah, we got everything up on display. Yesterday, I put these guys in here. They're hanging out. Those are relatively everything I'm going to bring to see. What we're going to bring, we're definitely going to bring the Ranger and the Dodge. We're going to bring the K50 and the any level, I'm thinking. And then the Ranger and the Raptor. And the GMC can get left behind here. Okay, we are... Okay, let's see here. So, let's back this on up. And, ooh, okay, you know what? That's that's gonna have to do. So, we'll unstrap everything here. And, yeah. So, ba-boom. And, ba-boom. Okay. So, we'll unstrap everything. We'll get it off into the shop. And then, we will go and pick up that Ford that I was talking about. I'm not going to put it all up on display yet because these guys 
need to get a bit of work done to them because their engines did come a bit busted. So I will shove them in here. They won't go on the ramps because Chris will be working on them while we go and get that Ford. So yeah, we'll drive these guys off. You know, let's start them all up and then we can drive them. I do need to uh, refill the GMC as well, so that'll be soon, we'll do that after, so we'll, we'll just back it up in here, and uh, yeah, these guys can uh, work pretty well here, we'll just drag this guy over here so that they're more compact in here, and then we'll get the blue and the white one off, and then we'll go and get those bad boys. I'm gonna just back them in there because it's quicker than turning it around and then putting it in there. Besides, Chris doesn't need to put them on the lifts or anything. He just needs to change their engines by taking off the hood of them, so it's probably better that we're not putting them on the lift for him. Alright, so let's get this last one in there and then we can turn her off. Close up that door. Oh, it's a bit sticky lately. Alright. Now we can put up the ramps and let's go get that Ford. So I guess they had that Corvette over by the Ford when the guy told me about it because I was going to go get it earlier today, but I couldn't because there was a cop outside of the place that wouldn't let anybody pass. Because I guess something had happened over there. I don't know if it was Karen or like something else, but all I know is that it's up this road somewhere. And the guy told me the address this morning, or no, he told me it yesterday afternoon, because he said, this is the guy who had, um, sold us that K-50, he's that guy, so he had, um, told us about this truck that he had, and he didn't want it anymore, so I said I would take it, and then, yep, it's right up here, okay, I gotta slow down here, because I actually took a wrong turn coming in here but the guy said the keys were already in it I'm gonna leave my truck down here so I can just drive it down it's got an engine all that I think he had it as like a little work truck for around his dealership so he did put a tiny little lift on it there it is he had to park it up in the bushes for some reason because I think he had something else here but I think he's out of the house right now so let's grab this and, uh, yeah, we gotta back her off here. Don't know what's up with the two-tone on this thing. Sometimes when it shines in the light, it bees a bit weird, but... Let's get this guy on the trailer. The wheels seem to be a bit too small for it in the front here. So, we will definitely change that. This is probably gonna become our second work truck. Most likely. This is for bigger jobs, because the GMC can't handle big jobs. Yes, it's pretty good for towing, but for big vehicles, especially for SEMA, we're going to need another truck because Novus Jr. is going to have to drive something, and we don't really have anything for him to drive, so I might as well make this a work truck, and he might as well, it might as well be his truck whenever he's, like, not able to do something, but we're not going to tell him that's going to be his truck. So, yeah, okay, we're going to flip this thing, dude, before we even get there. But he has a welder in the back of the truck, I'm thinking. All we have to do is unplug it, and then we can keep working on the truck. But I'm thinking we keep it for another build in the future, because I'm thinking in the future. This guy called me up a couple days ago and was like, Yo, can you put uh, some customizations on my truck and maybe add a welder? We didn't have a welder, and we were about to order one earlier today. Then this guy, then the guy called me up and said, Yo, I got a truck here. I don't want it anymore, and... Now that I know it's a welder, I told Chris to wait and see what this truck looked like to see if we could give it to that guy instead of customizing his truck. But if this thing just has a welder in it already, I might just take this truck, take out the welder, and then make this truck into something crazy. So yeah, Chris did not open the door yet. I think he's still working on the razors as the thing, so couldn't blame him. So we gotta back it up here to the door. Oh, shoot. We just jackknifed that thing. That was probably not a good thing, but it happens a lot. So, yeah, I think after we are done with this, we actually have to deliver a package of some stuff. I did not line this up very well, but we'll hope it's enough. 
The thing is about the GMC being very lifted is that the trailer tends to get shoved up pretty high, so it's definitely very hard to take off the straps, but at least she works. But I don't know. Yesterday, I had some trouble with that Ranger and getting it on the lift, or getting it off the lift, actually. But this guy seems to be giving me a lot more of a issue here. So, you know what we'll do? We'll force it back there, come on. We might have to do it facing forward. It's the thing here, yeah, we're gonna have to do it facing forward. So let's swap this bad boy around here and we'll put it in. I usually don't like to put them in facing forwards. Cause I usually like to back them in so we can just pull it right on out. But in this case, if we ever need to put it in forwards, I always am able to do that. It's just something I don't like to do very often. Alright, that was a pretty good lift, so we'll close up the door here and I'll see you guys when we're done. Alright guys, we have finished the truck. As you can see, I didn't want to walk all the way out of here again and just to do this one reveal. So we got the big boy. She's gonna be the beast. And this bad boy. She is gonna be the main towing vehicle now because the GMC is good and all the GMC will be for like prop shop or not prop shop I'm getting confused with where we are with it will be used for like power shop pickups little tiny jobs around the place but um, we have to do a delivery before we end off this so I'm gonna turn off the GMC and I'll grab the other trailer because I'm going to leave the GMC out anyway because I need it later today. So, yeah, we'll see We'll see how this thing works. And we gave her um, airlift suspension. She is taller than the GMC. By barely. Oops, I just said the GMC. But it's barely taller than the GMC by a sliver. But I do like this Ford better because I got to customize this one because we had... The, well, I did customize the GMC, obviously, but this one, we had a lot more options for it. As you can see, those lights are blue. And, like, the GMC's lights, which aren't very custom. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to look at that speedometer down there, guys. Forgot to turn off the, you know what, guys. But we gotta get our delivery... So it's actually not for the Razors, it is for the four-door Can-Am and a three-wheeler here. So let's drag that guy off. This guy's pretty light, so I can just drag it off here. So, oh shoot, that three-wheeler, my bad. Hey, it landed at least. Okay, let's start this guy up. Considering that thing is a three-wheeler, it's got some pretty loud engine. but. I guess the guy that we're delivering this to lives relatively far away from here. You know where we got that Dodge in the last video? That's where he lives, so, yeah. He was the guy who sold us that, or he was the guy who was doing all the auctions. And I guess the guy's moving to, like, Wyoming or something. So he's, like, wanting to get some equipment and all that. So he can, like, go ripping up there in the woods. My, um, uncle lives in Wyoming, so... I feel him. I've, I've went ripping up there with him before. It's very interesting how it works. But, um, let's put up the ramps and we'll get this bad boy rolling. So we just gotta drive a bit and... Probably wanna turn on all of my lights. Okay, everything is, huh, this thing's got some pretty big light setups. This is what I like. They still haven't cleaned up that mess with Karen over there. Let's hope they clean it up by the next video, but... Well, let's whip this bad boy up there. We can drop this stuff off. The guy didn't want anything else. He just wanted a three-wheeler and a Can-Am. He asked for a Can-Am. He paid the amount for the four-door. He paid, basically the four-door is more than the two-door, because it's a lot more expensive to make, because you have to basically 
one of the two doors is basically half of the price of that, basically, because one two door is half of a can am, but is half of a four door. But that's how I like to price my stuff. So whatever I price the two door, I double for the four door. So he could have. I don't know if he wanted two two doors or one four door. So I just gave him a four door because I know that the guy has kids, which is why he's like all over the place here trying to sell stuff trying to move Wyoming I feel it for him so I'm just giving him the four door so he can have everybody in there at once but the three wheeler is probably just like something tiny for him but I'm gonna drop these off right out here at this shed here I wanna just pull up right here so that I can take them off the trailer uh they are locked you can't like just jump into them like if you were to you can just jump on this can-am yes can't start it up though you need the keys and i'm gonna be smart and i am i have given him a um virtual key sort of thing i've made ver what i've done is like i've figured out how to make keys that match up with those vehicles that are all virtual it goes through the computer you can unlock the vehicle through your phone and stuff it's pretty cool how i've done it but yeah we gotta get back asap because chris said he needed me to um, help him with those razors I asked him to do earlier because apparently we didn't have the correct parts to put in them. Either he doesn't know where they are or we actually don't have any. So I got to get back there fast and help him out. But um, yeah, once we get there, I'm going to end off the video there. But it seems to be that it's getting dark out, so we want to be booking it here. I also don't want to get pulled over by the cops, though, because I've already been pulled over by the cops a couple times. Especially especially in these trucks. Like, in the GMC, I've been pulled over a few times because I've had the trailer and I've been speeding down the road. Which is a very dangerous thing to do, but I'm a very good driver. I'm totally a good driver. Totally haven't knocked down any signs in my life. But, uh, yeah, we'll just pull this bad boy in here. And as soon as I touch that grass with the truck, I'm basically on my property, so... Can't really do anything about it. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just leave this stuff scattered around everywhere. But I hope you all enjoyed. I had a great time filming this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. And also, I want to hit 1,000 subscribers, and when I do, I'll be doing a special video. And, yeah, see you all in the next one.